Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Pilot Explorer Fountain Pen. And this particular one is a medium nib fountain pen. And I was kind of I'm I'm kind of excited to take a look at this because I saw it online and the blue looks really neat looking. At least the pictures of it did. And I'm hoping it looks as neat as it did on online as in per yeah. I hope it looks as neat in person as it did online. Ooh, that's pretty looking. Now let's take a look. And this, like I said, this is a Pilot Explorer. And these run about 20, 22 bucks. So they're not super expensive. Isn't that kind of pretty? Can you now see the color okay? It's really light. I think it's, uh, seems like it's probably plastic, maybe plastic coated with something. I wonder if this is like the, their like next thing, like their next try for something like the Parker, or like the, um, the Pilot Metro. All right. So this one comes with a ink cartridge. So, no converter with it, which is a little disappointing. Uh, let's see. So, apparently, you can get a converter there, according to the instructions. And hmm. so, if you like it, you can use bottled ink if you are so inclined. I think if I like it, I would use bottled ink if it were just me. Let's see. Let's try this thing out. You know it's sort of weird. It does hold on. Like it doesn't quite feel. Alright. Here's a pilot metro. It doesn't it doesn't feel anywhere near as substantial as the met as the pilot metro. Yeah. Anyway, let's slap the cartridge in this thing and take a look. See how it does. And I think this pilot metro has an ink cartridge in it. So what we might be able to do is get a reasonable comparison between the Metro and the the new, well, the Explorer. I like the color. I think that's a pretty color. But I would rather have it feel substantial. Because it just doesn't feel super, okay. Mm, all right. So, yes, this does have an ink cartridge in it. No, it doesn't have any ink. All right, well. Uh, my, it's a noble thought. Alright, so we'll just try this on its own. See if it can, if the ink has done its percolating yet. Alright, so this is the pilot. Well, we'll give it a minute. So this is the medium version. The problem I already feel is this feels super light. I mean, this feels not substantial, and the the Metro feels like a really solid pen, and the Metro is five dollars, six dollars cheaper than this one. So the only thing currently going for this one is the color. Yeah. Nibs might actually be just the same. Well, this one's a fine nib, but, um, I don't know. Pilot Metro nib. Makes me nervous when it says super quality on the nib for this one. So maybe not so super quality. I don't know. So,
Okay. After giving it a couple of minutes to let the ink do its thing percolating through, it now has ink flowing. So this is the Pilot Explorer fountain pen. And this is a medium nib. It doesn't write too bad. The thing is... I'm kind of hard pressed to see why you'd want this over a Metro. Because I mean like the Metro just feels like a much more substantial pen. And don't get me wrong, I really like the color. I think this is an awesome color for a pen. I don't feel like it's better than the Metro. And I mean maybe that's just one of those things that Pilot made the Metros so amazing that it's hard to come up with a even slightly more expensive version of it like a more expensive pen but this one I mean this one just doesn't feel I don't know it feels it feels just light and not like in a good way I mean like the Metro feels it feels substantial in your hand and it's like the great intro pen and this one would be like an okay intro pen but I mean, it feels like, I don't know, it's, think about it like this. This is a super cheap, like, multi-pin, right? And this is heavier than this. Yeah, this one feels heavier than this. And this feels like, I mean, it's obviously cheap plastic. I mean, I like it, but it's still cheap plastic. So, I don't know. I like the color, and I like the Pilot Metro, I guess is the best way to put it. Have any of y'all tried the Explorers? If you have, if you've tried the Explorers, let me know in the comments, especially if you've tried the Explorers and you've tried them, and you've tried Metros. I'd like to know what you think about the comparison between the two, because I'm just, I'm hard pressed to see why this costs like $6 more than the Metro. And maybe even more than that, depending on if you catch the Metro on like a good sale. I mean, like, I feel like I feel like if the Metro is sixteen dollars, this should be like nine. And as it stands, the Metros are like fifteen or sixteen bucks, and this is like twenty, twenty-two dollars. And so, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'll include links for both um, the Explorer and the Metro, so you can check them out for yourselves. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.